International Cooperation Builds Trust. Trust enhances international cooperation. And that commitment will undergird both concepts. So, consultative collaboration is the way to go. Gone are the days when we could just sit in our respective offices and hug up the information. Yes, you have to be confidential. Now we have to reach across each other's borders because the public interest is not only the public interest in our communities, it is the public interest in the entire world. When you think of offenses like human trafficking, which is a worldwide scourge, when you think of drugs, when you think of the whole cyber security issues now with hacking and other things like that, international cooperation is critical. So in conclusion, let me say that going forward, we have to make sure that when we gather together like this, it's not just a talk shop, but going forward, all the talk will be translated into real action, which will enhance our efficiencies in our respective countries when it comes to apprehending fugitives and enhance our efficiencies in terms of communication. So let us all work together here during this symposium and when we return to our respective countries. Remember that our excellence is rooted in cooperation with each other. So that, as Mahatma Gandhi, the great Indian philosopher, said, we will be the change that we wish to see in the world. And finally, as I wish you all a successful symposium, and I salute the organizers of this, what I'm sure, interesting conference. Finally, it was Duke Ellington, the great American, African-American musician, who said, there are two rules in life. Number one, never quit. And I will say, no matter how hard the going gets. Rule number two, according to Duke Ellington, never forget rule number one. That is, never quit. Congratulations to you all, and all the very best for what I'm sure will be a very good conference. Thank you.